we're going to be talking about a quote from Warren Buffett who said, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. This sounds like some words of wisdom Kirby would say. So I'm going to pass it to you, Kirby. What do you think on what Warren Buffett has to say? Well, there's no secret now. I mean, Warren Buffett, I mean, Warren Buffett gets his flowers while he's still alive and rightfully so, rightfully so. I mean, of course, you have the detractors that try to make try to make themselves sound like they're smarter than him. But the only thing I say is men lie, women lie, numbers don't. And you can put any 10-year period of Warren Buffett investing against anybody else's 10-year period. I think it's one guy out there that uh, he's actually close to outperforming Warren Buffett. It's close, but it's not. But he don't say he's smarter than Warren Buffett or anything like that. And he actually uses Warren Buffett's same philosophy, but just do it in a slightly different manner, long term. But he he got some skills. I'm, I apologize because I don't know the gentleman's name, but once I get his name, I'll put it in the comment section. Uh, but that's that's all it is, is patience. That's why most people lose in the stock market. That's why most people think the stock market is a gamble. Uh, most people be like, oh, well, a lot of people be like, oh, well, yeah, now the stock will go up because I sold it. Why do you sell it? I mean, me, I'm notorious for saying me and Apple stock don't get along. I say it because it just seemed like every time I buy Apple stock, it just keep going down. It keep going down, keep going down. But I know Apple stock ain't paying attention to my money that I put in there. And then when I sold Apple stock, uh, then it continued to 7x. Now, I just won't buy Apple stock. I mean, I have it, you know, and, you know, ETFs and things like that. I let my wife invest in Apple. Well, not let. My wife invest in Apple. But me, I just don't. But the thing was, was just staying patient. I was not patient. That's why Apple stock just beat me up. But that's all it is. It's transferring, transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. Like me, when I buy a stock, I mean, you know my mantra, I stole it from Warren Buffett. If I'm not planning on holding it for 10 years, I'm not holding it at all. Patience is the key. But again, people become impatient because they say, okay, I'm just going to put this money here. And then, oh, I need this to go up 15 next so I can go buy a Lamborghini. No, I put it there and I just sit it. And then I start building capital to go invest in another arena. Or I invest more in it. As long as the, the fundamentals and everything that the company is doing. I don't care what the stock price is doing. What the company is doing is improving year over year, quarter over quarter. That is what I'm investing in. Eventually, the market will become rational, recognize the company, and then it will go up. I've had many times where I said years with stocks in the red. Years. But with that, in the years I said with stocks in the red, those stocks, after I just kept investing in it, kept investing in it, and just holding it, holding it, holding it, Gave me the opportunity to buy the house that I live in, uh, in cash, cars, and everything else with just being patient. I don't use the stock market as a lottery ticket. I use the stock market for what it is, a long-term vehicle to grow wealth and at a compounding rate over a very long time. And then when it happens, you look like a genius. But in that meantime, at the beginning, when it's going down, you look like the biggest idiot on earth. But in the end, the patient wins. Yeah, I see this with people that aren't uh, too well versed in the stock market. They treat it as if it's, you know, like a way to just get rich quick. And so mm -hmm. it's it's almost comical because there's been several times where like the market and I'm sure this has happened to you, like the market's dropping and there's people reaching out to you because they know that you know the stock market well and they're reaching out to you with fear. They're concerned. They're, you know, they're almost pissed off. Like, why is the market going down? I'm losing money. And you're just sitting there like calm and just like, yeah, I wanted to go down more. And I've told people that too, like, yeah, I hope it goes down more and it pisses them off more because then they're like, well, why do you want me to lose more money? <laughs> like, I'm just trying to get more shares, you know, because that's that's where opportunity is created when there's downfall in the market. And they just can't seem to fathom that or grasp that. And um, I think it just goes back to what I said in another video, like investing is not the way you 
quick flip your money. Investing is what you do once you, you know, you're making money already and you invest so that you can grow your money in the long term. And if you don't have the ability to be patient in any market for the long term, then you just shouldn't be in it because there's going to be downfall and the market, the stock market cannot be, I guess you could say it could be predicted, but it can't, no one knows what the market's going to do. I mean, there's been times where like we think based off charts, it's going to go up and then it comes down because of a whole different reason. And so you can never know what the market is going to do. You just have to know that you need to be consistent with it and you have to have patience and ride it for the long haul, not not try to just jump in and make quick money. Yeah, uh, two things, two things. Hit. Yeah, we don't in the short term, we do not know what the market is going to do or stock is going to do. That's 100 percent right. Over the long term, you can look at the history of the stock market and you see it's going to go higher. Over the long term, the short term, we have not a damn clue on earth. Uh, another thing that I want to uh, hit on, Alex, you you hit on it, but I think you glossed over it. And it's one thing that people just don't understand. When you own a stock and the price of the stock go down, you didn't lose money because you didn't sell it. Yep. You only lose money when you sell it. So if the fundamentals of the company and everything of the company is good and improving and the stock price is going down because the market just want to be irrational then that's my key to add more to double down now of course that's you know understanding the company itself forget the stock understanding the company itself uh and then the other thing is now just think of this people look at stocks as they're losing money when the price goes down just think if it was a ticker symbol over everybody's house and it moves by pennies and dollars every day because that's what's happening but people don't know because they can't see it and then they got the they still have the same mindset you know how many people would be trying to sell houses for losses all the time <laughs> and losses if it was a ticker symbol over the house people yeah. would lose their mind people would be jumping off bridges because they wouldn't they wouldn't know how to uh handle it <laughs> but the, the just like the stock market just like the housing market in a shorter period of time where the prices are going nobody has has a clue but over the long period of time, the value of houses go up over a long period of time. That's why everybody's doing it. It's the same thing in the stock market. So that's how people should look at investing over a long period of time. Because you don't see people saying, oh, man, the value of the house just went down $10. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna cut sling load on this house. Just look at stocks the same way. Exactly. Well said. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.